People in Dallas's Oakland community are on edge again. Police confirm a 14th victim was targeted over the weekend, and that victim told officers he believes he was singled out and attacked because of his sexual orientation. Fox News' Natalie Solis near the attack spot after speaking with community leaders who are worried about the holidays coming. Natalie. Well, Steve, on the one hand, people here are glad that this victim was not seriously injured. But on the other, the frustration level goes up a notch uh, just knowing that this is still happening, especially, they tell me, as uh, people begin to arrive to this neighborhood for the holidays, likely unaware of what's been going on. We want to know is it hate crimes or just what's, what's really going on? Lonzo Job wants answers like many in the Oakland community. But another incident early Sunday morning makes that seem less likely. Police say a 26-year-old man was approached before 2 a.m. in the 2700 block of Wycliffe Avenue. Raphael McDonald of the Resource Center learned of it at a community meeting Monday night with Dallas police. The attackers used a crowbar and the guy was able to survive the attack by just curling up in the fetal position and they ran away. Police are not calling this an attack, nor have they confirmed the use of a crowbar. Instead, they're calling it a terroristic threat. Longtime community member Keith Hess was also at the meeting and says he's frustrated by the situation, but... I was very impressed uh, by what I heard. In addition to cameras going in recently, he says there's more going on behind the scenes. Of course, on Cedar Springs here, we have a lot of officers that are uh, that very visible, but I didn't realize that there was so many undercover and on some of the side streets as well that are actually watching over us. Reassuring. I carry something to protect myself. Especially for those who live nearby and already mindful of personal security. But McDonald worries about all the visitors heading to the area, ready to celebrate the holidays at neighborhood hotspots. They may not know what has been going on here in this community, and they may not be ready to take the increased personal security that they need to to be here. And that that, that is one of those things that keeps me awake at night.